It is an honor for me to stand before you this morning and to share with you the status of the South African Army and its current developments. I may say the status, but it's impossible in this short space of time that we can go deep in everything. Fellow combatants, the month of August is set aside, by the way, to celebrate our women. Person will give up everything to protect the family. Person who goes through turbulence to raise and nourish a child. Mamad Shope once said, women bring about life and we walk because they've given birth to us by God's grace. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we celebrate 25 years of our hard earned democracy. And I would like to acknowledge the contributions of our heroes who fought by, side by side against the past injustices of this country. Amongst those is Mamad Lechena Sassoul, Memon Pat, Nailin Joseph, Ruth. First, Ms. Sonia Bunting, and many more. These women emerged as primary catalysts for protests and the challenges of the apartheid system. Following the footsteps of these gallant heroines, I would like to acknowledge the leadership provided by uh, Lieutenant Giseto Sokhovelo was the commander of the 7th Sai Battalion and her lieutenant, also a female, was a platoon commander in combat, the Marcato Brasil, during the 4th Intervention Brigade recently in DRC. The Minister of Defense and the Chief Assembly of Benu steadfast with the empowerment of all females. But also very clear that it must not be token. So I took a responsibility that I will take deadly chances. Yeah. Not necessarily with the lives of the soldiers, but with poignant appointment of those females I thought people may look at them <coughs> likely that they will do it. We had an experience of a lieutenant, I think she's a captain, Nas Khapani, who captured the rebel commander in this unit, personally, in Sudan before. So this was not the first. And three females were appointed, appointed in the regiment of battalion positions, and Lieutenant Sukhwela was one of these directly uh, appointed on an operational arrangement. And you know, what she did, day and night, day and night attacks. She prevailed. The South African Army and the South African Military Defense Force under the stewardship of General Shoke, we should express our sincere appreciation for the good conduct displayed by the South Africans during the casting of votes recently. This is a symbol of a maturing democracy, which the South African Army as part of the National Defense Force has contributed in its realization. In our endeavors to pursue our constitutional mandate, we will continue with our commitment to the medium term framework, mainly outcome three which says all people in South Africa are, and indeed, feel safe. The South African constitutional imperatives imposed on the South African National Defense Force under Chapter 3, Section 2012, which details with the employment of the defense in cooperation with the South African police services 
in terms of Section 201.2a, combating crime and maintenance and preservation of law and order within the Republic. South African Army, these are very private clients, exist to execute its mandate with diligence and professional zeal to prepare and provide combat road forces for deployment by Chief Joint Operations on behalf of the South African National Defense Force on a range of operations concerning the full spectrum of peace from humanitarian assistance to civil authorities and multinational organizations to a full-scale war on major combat operations. As General Tundu said, less a new president of. This then is evident through the deployment of the SADF in the troubled Cape Flats recently in Cape Town. We have made enormous inroads to combat crime in support of the South African police services in this case. The return of the SADF to the borders required a specialized capability, specifically for border patrolling. After a lot of deliberations with joint operations and the inability of the South African Army to have a sustained mobility. South African Army Infantry Formation, there, therefore, was tasked to revive what used to be called 12 Sai. With the establishment of the specialized infantry capability, popularly known as SASIC, consisting of dogs, horses, motorcycles, military explosives, and drug detection systems, as well as tracking elements in April 2011. These elements are currently deployed at Ops Corona since 28 August 2011 to date. A total of 234 members deployed this subunit are on a rotational basis. And I must mention something live here for you to understand why I specifically mention this. And I'm going to elaborate on it further. The shock and speed they have has compensated a lot of capability problems we have right now. I don't remember the year, I think it was sometime 2014, when there was an ambush laid on our soldiers right inside our bodies. And one of our soldiers, I think, was shot on the leg from six side. Military style ambush. And many South African people do not know these things. They only think about Congo. And it was because of the speed of this scene, of this outfit, with the motorbikes and dogs, that made them able to corner that section that was attacking them in about one hour. Without violating any law or harming anyone of them in a major way. How professional. Due to its versatility, a specialized infantry capability unit can be deployed independently from any battalion headquarters. The subunit is able to cover an operational area the size of a motorized infantry battalion at any given time. You remember I said there are only 234 of them. The deployment of SASIC elements in a border self-guiding role <coughs> have managed to successfully reduce the levels of stock theft, vehicle theft, drug smuggling, and illegal border crossing along the Republic of South Africa, the international borders. And I must emphasize, from time to time, our soldiers get shot at in our place. The successful application of this capability is ensuring revenue for the RSA in curbing all the illegal activities taking place along the borders, especially where mobility is restricted since horses, dogs, motorcycles, and personnel can negotiate in very difficult terrain, which is part of the border areas with our neighboring countries. The SMA engineer formation is part 
of the SNDF's humanitarian relief effort has also embarked and is embarking in numerous projects in collaboration with other state departments. <coughs> we have currently completed the following bridges during the financial year 2018-19. Nyosana 30 meter bay bridge, Boston Jones. You remember my 35 children died crossing place. We went in there, the Matatiel 30 meter bay bridge. We've also put in some pedestrian crossing bridges there. The Zazulwana 42 meter bay bridge in Batawa. Seven pedestrian bridges were built temporarily in the Eastern Cape. And they will soon be replaced with vehicles with size bridges. We've got, after the floods in Zimbabwe, a force on the ground now, also doing the same thing. We envisage that five more bridges will be built in the financial year 2019-2020. The water and sanitation system at Mfuleni, here in Johannesburg, the Val, are in dire need of refurbishment and repair. Situation there was extremely dire. <coughs> that situation there caused almost a 70% unemployment as business moved away from the area. It had led to serious health hazards and risk for the residents, especially those of shopping. Maritime, Ferenheim, and Suke. The Val River system is also affected in that it is populated by gross sewage that spills due to the unserviceable sanitation systems. To that effect, the Minister of Finance, Mr. Tito Mboweni, in his medium term budget from 24 October 2018, made a call to the Minister of Defense after he had discussed with the Commander in Chief. For the military's assistance in this crisis. Our very own engineers are deployed in the area to address the situation and are facing the challenges of leakage and deficiencies in the network system of the farm stations, upgrading of the 44 critical farm stations, the three water treatment works should be refurbished to optimal uh, functionality. These engineers have finished Clean primary uh, setting tanks, STs, module 3 and 5, and are ready for commissioning as we speak. This includes additional video engineering works to benefit uh, the community. <coughs> 